We are back. If you're just joining us, you are on time for the first conversation of the day. And of course, we are starting with Sport on Tech. And today, we want to know about the intersection uh, between AI and STEM courses. If you know, um, what, if you don't know what STEM means or what AI is all about, you're about to find out and how those two come together and how powerful they are. For this, we have been joined by engineer John uh, Copio, who's the president of OYA. OYA stands for African Union of Youth Assembly. Karibu sana, engineer John. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you for hosting me here. It is my first time to join you mm. at Y254, mm -hmm. and it is my pleasure. Okay. And I know we are going to have uh, uh, a great conversation uh, mm -hmm. with the youths, you know, and the young people. And of to course. see how, how, how can we be able uh, to maneuver in this dynamic world mm -hmm. and stand out. Exactly. Yes. And that's what we are all about. Yeah. We are the youth and we want to know how to, you know, how to make the most out of everything that's around us. And, yes. uh, you know, our skills and our potential and the opportunities. So now, um, speaking about opportunities, uh, we have AI, mm. which is uh, an emerging, something that's emerging, emerging technology, emerging trend that's yes. there. So um, I know most people know AI, but maybe just explain to us in the simplest way for someone who doesn't know. Okay, uh, because our topic today is about AI and uh, STEM education, so and we want to see how they uh, they, they relate. Mm. And um, to begin with, AI is um, the simulation uh, simulation of human intelligence in machines, um, just making machines to work as a human being. They can think and act uh, like normal human beings. So we are simulating all those aspects, the cognitive features of the human being into a machine so that they can work on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Then on the other hand, um, uh, STEM, uh, STEM, these are uh, uh, subjects, for example, uh, STEM means uh, science, uh, technology, uh, uh, mathematics, you know? So because when we are talking about science, we are talking about technology, we are talking about um, engineering and mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, are, we are looking at how do we uh, become, uh, uh, how do we solve problems? How can we uh, think critically uh, outside the box and come up with solutions or yeah. radical solutions which can be able to address uh, the challenges we are facing? Because as we know, uh, the the world is uh, is is, uh, 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 is right. moving very fast uh, when it comes to technology, and uh, maybe the way we used to be like uh, about twenty years ago or thirty years ago, you know, it is different uh, in the world uh, which we are currently in. And again, what is for the future? Mm -hmm. What is the future of technology? Because uh, you will find in some areas, uh, if you don't have any skill, maybe in the next ten. 20 years, you will be, uh, be rendered jobless. You will have nothing to do. You mm -hmm. know? So with that concept, how do we uh, ensure that uh, we conform uh, to the dynamics of technology so that any time we can be at par? Because we are looking at maybe in the next 10, uh, 15, or 20 years, there are some uh, human uh, interventions or mm -hmm. uh, human, uh, there are things which are uh, b being carried by human uh, activity but they will be replaced yeah. uh, with the machine, mm -hmm. you know? So where will you be, you know? <laughs> okay, so you must be somebody who sits behind this machine uh, to make it work mm -hmm. on behalf of somebody. Okay, and that's yes. where you're saying that we need to conform to the you know, dynamics of technology as it changes, we need to be in line with it. So how exactly do we do that um, in the era of, you know, AI coming in and most people have had the fear that AI is coming to replace, you know, take over their jobs. Mm. So people, some people have fears around it and some people are welcoming AI. So it's two things, <laughs> <laughs> you're either here or there. Uh, you, so uh, how do you exactly uh, make sure The first you thing, conform? you know, we, uh, we cannot deny the fact that uh, technology is with us and it is here to stay mm -hmm. and we cannot uh, run away. Yeah. You know, uh, there are things which uh, they were brought uh, in place, technological advancement. When they came, uh, uh, we became more resistant. But if you, ch if you don't change uh, to change, the change will change you, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. 
So it is our uh, responsibility to start thinking ahead uh, what, uh, how, as, as, as an individual, what should I have to make me uh, at par? Because, mm. uh, for example, uh, like for the young people, you see, we normally, in the process, maybe we are looking for, we are going for job interviews, you know, uh, and maybe you in an interview, you are like about 20 or 100 uh, applicants. But now, out of the 100, you, will, uh, you have all the same qualifications. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there is something unique about you which will make you stand out from the rest, that will define you uh, from the rest of the team and you will qualify for that particular job. Mm -hmm. So how do we uh, work very closely and ensure that we develop all these um, soft skills, which uh, again will make us, because uh, as we are today, mm -hmm. uh, artificial intelligence is the next big thing and is the next uh, investment. Yeah. And it cuts across in all, all industries, sectors. whether it is health, whether it is upper journalism, whether it is ICT, mm -hmm. whether it is HR, uh, manufacturing, agriculture, you know. Everywhere. Everywhere. Even when we are talking about uh, the climate, mm -hmm. you know, still will bring the concept of technology. How do we become more innovative yeah. to help us uh, preserve and conserve our nature? Okay. You know? <laughs> and, and we'll get to that, mm. uh, specifically how it's coming into in the, te in the STEM in the uh, STEM. STEM areas, but um, before before we okay, bef there's a question I wanted to ask. So I think I forgot it. <laughs> but now you just tell us mm. how um, how can how is AI being integrated into into STEM? And uh, now, uh, because STEM, we have understood it is about the science, it is about technology, it is about engineering, it is about mathematics. mathematics. Uh, the STEM, the or, or, or the artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. is about how do we use all this discipline. Uh, uh, if I'm taking science, how do I uh, come up with the problem-solving skills? You know, what areas in science can I um, can I embrace uh, the AI uh, technology uh, when it is about mathematics? Because you know. Uh, uh, when uh, when it comes to education, uh, first uh, you will find um, people fear taking sciences. You know, yeah. uh, maybe you'll find uh, we don't want to do sciences, we don't want to do technology, we don't want to do mathematics. So now we bring co the concept of artificial intelligence to make the learning of these particular uh, subjects become more uh, easy and more understandable and more enjoyable, so that we can be able to net a wider uh, group of people mm -hmm. to come and do uh, such uh, subjects. Okay. So when we involve the, 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 the how we are administering uh, mm -hmm. these uh, particular subjects or the course line, uh, when we, 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 we embrace uh, 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 artificial intelligence, at least it will, it, it will be able to uh, pull, uh, it will uh, attract more people uh, and develop interest uh, in undertaking uh, the STEM subjects. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't do that, uh, there is no way we'll be able to do it, uh, to become more innovative and uh, maybe to conform to the current uh, technological advancement. Mm -hmm. So we must, uh, the STEM will play a role on how uh, do, we, uh, do we make yeah. uh, these uh, subjects uh, simpler and they can be conveyed uh, easily. Like for example, you know, uh, with technology, you know, nowadays uh, artificial intelligence is applied everywhere. For example, tell uh, us the applications uh, where they apply <laughs> for someone. Uh, who's uh, not in, sure. in a simple way, uh, nowadays when you want to go to a place, uh, you don't ask. You just ask that person, please, can you drop me the pin? <laughs> what is that pin? Exactly. It is the, inter the artificial intelligence. intelligence. So once that pin is dropped, it will guide you. In fact, you will be to it will be talking to you, telling you, you know, you are supposed to turn left, mm -hmm. uh, you are supposed to turn right, yeah. uh, head straight, it is about two meters. In about Kifika. 50 kilometers. Uh, then it will tell you now, <laughs> you are at, uh, you are des your destination is on the, on the left side. Yeah. So that is AI. Secondly, uh, all of us, we have email accounts. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll find uh, when somebody sent you an email, it will go to maybe spam, maybe received, you know. So there is that um, uh, artificial intelligence mm -hmm. uh, uh, app which maybe like for example Google has implemented about 99.9% whereby if uh, you receive an email, it will be able to classify uh, these emails and identify which email is spam and which email 
is the right Relevant one. So one. that the spam email can be pushed to the spam folder and the rest can be uh, given uh, to you for display. Okay. So those are the areas, uh, the mm -hmm. simple areas where um, uh, artificial intelligence is uh, being applied. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have so many areas when it comes to even uh, teaching. Uh, we can be able, maybe we can have a foreigner, maybe a Chinese or a German uh, coming to lecture or maybe on a uh, particular mm -hmm. uh, topic mm -hmm. and you know we speak English and Kiswahili and we'll not, we may not be able to understand the French or uh, so we we'll need uh, systems to inter interpret for us the language this particular person is speaking. So there we'll be able to involve uh, the, STEM, uh, the, the artificial intelligence to help us interpret Okay. the languages and make it so the simplest way we can be able to understand. Possible. So yes. in, in such a scenario, mm. you know, AI coming in to do the translation. Mm. Now in this point, uh, practically speaking, you said you need to conform. Mm. So as a translator, if that's your job, that's your mm. main job, mm. what do you conform to now? Because now the AI <laughs> is doing exactly what you are supposed to do. Uh, so how do you conform? So now, uh, uh, how you can, uh, because maybe you have been doing that as a, the translator now. Yeah. And now the system is coming to replace you. Mm -hmm. So you must be in a, a position on how you can be able to write this language into the system. Because, you know, the machine will not stand there and start doing something. It must be controlled by a human being. <laughs> as much as it has all the <laughs> <laughs> intelligence, you know. So you yeah. have to give this particular information that now we, we are translating from French to Kiswahili or we are uh, translating from Kiswahili to Yoruba, uh -huh. you know. So you must give the system uh, the dynamics on which it is going to operate and to help you <laughs> translate that. So you, you need know. to know coding <laughs> and all that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so basically what you're saying, we need to, to be mm. um, knowledgeable It matters mm. uh, technology, what mm. is happening, how, how do you make the most out of the career that you're in, your profession, how mm. do you advance, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> what would you say are the specific benefits of the intersection of AI and uh, STEM education? What specific benefits does it offer? You know, now the specific benefits, uh, it be, uh, one of them is making learning easier. You know, when you bring learning concept to the simple term, that uh, the learner will be able to understand, mm -hmm. you know, they will start to develop that interest. For example, you know, when we were in school, there are some, some, there are some teachers, you know, th when the teacher comes in, immediately he stands there in front of you. You start just uh, interacting with the, the teacher, you know, you just like the teacher, mm -hmm. the skills, you know. So yeah. with the uh, artificial intelligence, it will make uh, the learners uh, undertaking such uh, courses uh, to be more uh, proactive, you know, and uh, again, uh, to, uh, to love uh, what they are doing. Uh, secondly, it creates um, uh, like a unified uh, platform where people can be able, or collaboration, mm -hmm. where people can be able to share ideas uh, share views, uh, you know, uh, work together, yeah. you know, and uh, bring uh, different minds or concepts together for and analysis, you okay. know, uh, to mm. make sure that uh, things work out. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, thirdly, maybe when it comes to uh, like data analysis, you know, so for example, uh, AI mm -hmm. uh, can be able to uh, can be able to, it can be applied uh, when it comes to matters of uh, uh, data analysis and uh, synchronization, uh, whereby you can be able to, you have different concepts, uh, different information, you know, uh, from different uh, angles or sphere. Mm -hmm. uh, you can be able to analyze all this and it will help you make uh, the best uh, decision uh, on what you want to do uh, okay. as an individual, you know, as mm. an organization, uh, you know, as an institution, okay. uh, name it, yeah. Wow. So basically that to make work easier. I especially love the fact that it makes learning easier. And speaking of STEM courses, how mm. they are perceived to be hard, and we've had the campaign for, for years on of just um, pushing girls into, into these courses. So AI is coming to make it even easier. You're imagining with you know, so many ways to learn. We also see v virtual reality coming in the yes. in learning and mm. people are able to see and experience it. So it's even, you know, it's even better mm. for, for you. Now with the good things also comes some challenges. 
or drawbacks. So what would you say are some of the challenges with the intersection of AI and, and STEM? Okay. Uh, when uh, w maybe when you look at the profile, uh, mm -hmm. I did computer forensics. In fact, I did engineering, then left uh, after I had completed. Mm -hmm. Then I went more on uh, computer forensics. Why I was doing this? Because you know, we are in a digital world, yeah, and uh, once we are in a digital world, it doesn't mean we are safe. Mm -hmm. You know, because we are processing, we are receiving, we are consuming a lot. Of a lot of data yeah. and we are pushing it into the internet or the cyberspace and uh, whenever we take all this information into the cyberspace how uh, how do we ensure that uh, th that space is secure is protected mm -hmm. because we are not immune uh, to cyber attacks or threats but how do we uh, at least protect like 99.9% of what uh, we push uh, or we consume uh, from the internet, uh, because uh, that has been a challenge. When uh, you look at the the uh, the areas, uh, the technology innovations uh, are shaping the future, uh, you cannot uh, share away of talking about the cybersecurity and how uh, we can embrace uh, cybersecurity uh, in this dynamic uh, concept of technology to ensure that the data is protected. So the disadvantage uh, or the demerit uh, out of all this is about uh, the security mm. and um, of uh, the information uh, that we give. Or sometimes uh, when we bring uh, the artificial intelligence, you know, you know when, whenever you want to bring change, maybe even to an organization, mm -hmm. there are people who will be pro and there are people who will be against, against. Uh, that particular change. So how do you understand, uh, uh, do how, how, how can you put, uh, how can you be able to describe the challenges uh, before they happen and how you are going to put uh, the, the solutions? Because when we bring the concept of artificial intelligence, that is AI, which means uh, some people will be rendered jobless, you know? Uh, because now the machine is going to take uh, their place, mm. you know. So that will be a greater challenge uh, to the people. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Not so interesting there. <laughs> 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 uh, what about um, ethical, what are some of the ethical concerns uh, mm. that are there with uh, the intersection of this? Uh, some time back, um, I was having another uh, AI expert and he was saying that you know, given an example of how with AI, the apps, whatever, you know, when you use it, it has some sort of bias mm. or racism, you know, mm -mm. when you're black, y you know, you don't really get uh, African things as mm. much as you get white mm. or things that are associated with blacks, mm. are monkeys or, or things like that. Mm. So with um, intersection of AI and STEM, what are some of the ethical concerns that are there? Uh, you know, uh, 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 when we uh, talk about maybe you're black, you're what, you know, uh, we Africans, we are very intelligent. <laughs> we yeah. are very intelligent people. I agree. Uh, yes. Even if you go to these uh, countries, uh, the white countries, let's call them, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find the people behind all these innovations yeah. are Africans, you know. The True. people driving uh, this uh, technological advancement, the people, because what they normally do, they will come, uh, poach uh, the bright minds, they take them there, they work behind the, the, the computers, the behind the scenes, behind the curtain. Now they say this is our product. So uh, the main challenge is how uh, do we stand out? Uh, do we have uh, the support that is required that whenever uh, we come up with uh, problem solving skills or solutions on some areas. Uh, can it be accepted, you know, so that uh, it can be implemented uh, and uh, advance mm -hmm. um, uh, the principles of that technology, you know? So the main challenge is uh, do we embrace ourselves? Do we, uh, like, do we understand ourselves what we want? If these people, they are ap capable of developing these particular applications, if they are capable of developing this particular system, how do we take it to the market so that people can embrace it? it will not, they will not say, you know, this one was developed by so mm -hmm. and so, it, or maybe it came from this country, you know, now. Does it solve the problem at hand, okay. you know? 
So accepting, you know, and believing in our um, uh, in ourselves and getting that uh, support mm -hmm. is very important so that we can eradicate uh, all these uh, uh, issues of uh, demonizing uh, that, you know, so, uh, such people cannot be able to deliver this, you know. Mm -hmm. It is specifically for a certain group. No, mm -hmm. it doesn't work that way. Okay. So that's why we are promoting uh, 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 and have uh, promoting the application mm -hmm. of the AI yeah. and encourage as many people as possible, the young people, to take uh, these STEM uh, courses or STEM subjects. Mm -hmm. So because, you know, when you take such courses, you'll become more, you'll uh, think critically, you'll be able to analyze uh, things, uh, you'll be able to, to, to foresee even for the future. N like now, we, you know, we don't know what will, uh, maybe in the next 10 years, we are in 2023 years, we had, we had Kenya Vision 2030. Uh, 2030, we are just uh, uh, seven years shy. Uh, maybe like now, there. it is about uh, six now, if uh, because we have one month to, to the next mm -hmm. year, you know? And then we have like African Union, Union of Youth Assembly, we have Vision 2063. So, you know, uh, there are advancements. Uh, we are not going back, but we are moving uh, forward. So how do we now uh, bring our minds together? without mm -hmm. discrimination, without, uh, you know, all these uh, shenanigans to ensure that uh, these young people, uh, we keenly understand what they are developing, what yeah. they are innovative, uh, uh, technological innovative ideas they are coming up with so that it can help us drive the future. Wow. And actually, I think it's the question that I wanted to ask you on innovation mm. being that Actually, we have the Kenya Innovation Week this week. Mm. So how can AI be used to foster um, creativity and innovation in, in STEM? Mm. You know, being creative, it doesn't mean that you must be in science field. You can even be in humanity. You can be Arts. even in humanities, ha art, mm -hmm. uh, name them, uh, music, you know, every industry. Because, uh, for example, each and every, because we, we, we were talking about uh, artificial intelligence, it cuts across uh, all the sectors. Uh, it is not about uh, computers and what, you know, yeah. yes. So now, coming out, how do we now bring uh, the concept of, uh, 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 or how can we show the artificial intelligence or AI uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to innovation? So uh, first of all, it, it is a mindset. You must become uh, innovative in your mind. You know, there is a way you do news anchoring, mm -hmm. but there is a concept or there is a topic which you want uh, every time to be, you, you, talk to, uh, you talk about. So you go outside there, do research, uh, bring that uh, to the table, to the maybe to the media team, uh, the editors, they go through it, they see yes, this something has value. Mm -hmm. So it will depend on how it will help you, uh, how you'll be able to embed on that particular mm, AI, so that when you go outside to uh, uh, do research, uh, like, for example, now we have a uh, chatbot, the chat GPT, GPT uh, yeah. which is uh, artificial intelligence, uh, a chatbot which uh, uses natural language and uh, it creates like a human conversation, mm -hmm. a dialogue. Yeah. Is it a dialogue? Yeah. Monologue ni sing ni one the person. Careful, yeah. So dialogue. So you, you can communicate with the, uh, with the system whereby you, 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 you query, you ask the chat, you type the kind of question you want to mm -hmm. the chatbot, then it will be able to do what? Uh, to give you the Good answers. Point. So it is like you'll be uh, discussing. Mm -hmm. So you see in such uh, advancement, maybe you are a news anchor. There is a project or there is an item or there is something article which you want to talk about. So you will go to the chat box, maybe do some research, get to understand, so that even if you go outside, you know areas to, to look into, to gather all this information and bring it in place. When you are doing fine arts, the finance is the drawing mm -hmm. So sometimes we say now we want to use the computers to do the, 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 the sketches, you do, do the drawings, you know, do all yeah. those kind of. Uh, so instead of now doing the pens, because at some point you can draw with the pencils, uh, the ink is not there now. How do I embed now the computer to help me now? Because I have the, the yeah. idea what I want to do. So how do I tell the computer that this is what I'm thinking of? I just want you to think like me because in a uh, computer, there's something uh, we call computer programming. Mm -hmm. uh, before, uh, we, we used to program computer to do what we want. But now, with the current uh, technological advancement where we are talking about artificial intelligence, that computer must think like me. You know, if I'm having this interview here, 
I can bring a robot who uh, mimics John uh, capability and features. The bo robot will be here. Mm -hmm. So you start uh, interviewing robot on my behalf. Yeah. You know. Okay. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I, I can't wait to, you know, to get there. I'm not sure if it's scary or if it's something. No, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it, can be, it can be scary when you think about mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. it's something that's happening and we need to, you mm. know, to uh, uh, embrace it. And as you've said, it's there to complement a lot of things. So it's just us aligning to it. And as we come to a close on this, I want to ask, how can AI be used to make STEM education uh, more inclusive mm -hmm. to, to all people, especially when you're talking about students? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, you have talked about in, uh, inclusiveness. The AI brings ab about inclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, it will not uh, discriminate. You know, uh, because when you look at this, uh, maybe as young people like now, uh, we have uh, the, the, the form fours who are, who are just finished their exams maybe yes. uh, uh, three days ago, uh, about one week ago. Mm -hmm. And the next year now they are looking forward to join uh, various uh, high institution of, uh, institutions of higher learning. So now, uh, when you bring the concept uh, of AI, because mm -hmm. we want to bring... Uh, uh, this particular uh, 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 on uh, uh, to the students, you know, uh, this inclusivity to ensure that we bring more uh, young uh, young ladies, you know, and uh, yeah. young men to embrace uh, this particular uh, courses uh, to undertake them, because you know, for example. Tunajuanga tu, unajua course flani, kama ni engineering, it is about men. Mm -hmm. Kama ni mathematics, it is. But um. we have good ladies who can challenge you in mathematics. Yeah. You know. So now, when we make that learning processes very easy, it will bring that inclusion, that inclusivity. Okay. When we uh, uh, demysify, you know, uh, we break it down, mm -hmm. you know, to the simplest uh, ways in which these people can be able to understand. For example, now, uh, the rollout the, uh, of the CBC, you know, they're looking at the potential. Unaiza pata mtu aku sawa kwa drawing, mungina aku sawa kwa football, kwa art, kwa nini, you know. So when you embrace uh, with the AI, it will help that, um, create that environment uh, to uh, embrace. Because once you have created that, um, a, uni a, a unified platform uh, uh, for everyone. So now the people will start to, to embrace. Mm. And uh, they will not uh, 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 see uh, STEM subjects at, you know, these are courses meant for this particular group courses, of people. Yeah. You know, these are the guys who are supposed to do it. You know, th this community, you know. Even there are some courses which have been related to other communities. Even if you go to the university. At Iwale, ukienda kwa discipline, utapata tu. So when you, you, you bring all these, uh, the concept of um, AI, artificial intelligence, it will help a lot. It will help on how we are administering uh, uh, the information, uh, the education, the curriculum, mm. the studies, uh, uh, by making it simpler. So, you know, when you make something simpler for people to understand, you'll attract more people to come and get to understand what is this person talking about, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, when you, uh, you just create that, uh, the, the hard points, yeah. you know, people will run away. <laughs> Does that mind me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, there are things because in the Nini AI, now it will be practical because uh, uh, if it is about mathematics, you'll see uh, the real things. How if it is about chemistry, you'll see how the atoms, they come together, they separate, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to the mathematics, you, uh, you'll be able to see how, uh, you know, with the uh, real uh, practicals, real applications, okay. which will attract you to enjoy that particular subject you are undertaking. All right, so it won't mm. be boring anymore. Mm. I love it. Uh, before I let you say um, your last, you know, sh um, advice or something, mm. um, for those that don't know about African Union of Youth Assembly, um, I know you are focusing on, um, for some focusing on achieving holistic tech innovation to empower young people and create social economic empowerment. How would you say you're, you're doing this? Okay, firstly, I in uh, African Union of Youth Assembly, mm -hmm. there are very uh, different aspects. There are people who are like me in technology, there are people in law, mm -hmm. there are people in media like you, mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, uh, those people who are doing agriculture, uh, climate, 
So each and every that is uh, it, it is it is diverse, you know. So on my part, you know, uh, with the skills I have, with the knowledge I have, how can I now bring that on the table? And maybe if I'm doing something uh, in Kenya about innovation, how can I transfer it to South Africa? How can I transfer it to Ghana? And whatever is happening in Ghana in terms of agriculture with that uh, skills, how can we bring it uh, mm -hmm. back home? Because we are just looking at a platform whereby uh, we know we are resourceful, we are skillful. And how, and you can only be resourceful if whatever you have, you can share with someone to bring a change. It won't be, it won't uh, bring any change if you just uh, co uh, conceive it to yourself. You must bring it out there. So on my part, what you normally do, uh, I, li I like mentoring uh, young people when it comes to technological matters. Okay. Uh, you'll find uh, these young people after leaving school, uh, we, we, we hunt for jobs, which at some point it, beca it becomes uh, uh, difficult to get a job, you know, because the job market is flooded. So now, uh, once you come out uh, from the university or the college uh, or wherever uh, institution of higher learning, how can you be able to come out, uh, stand out uh, among the rest? Mm -hmm. uh, how can you make yourself unique? Can you identify something which is unique about you? You know, so once we have identified that, because uh, with the technology, uh, you just need a laptop, you need a working internet, then you get your area, then you sit down. And work it. And work it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because what we are looking at, there are things, uh, maybe the way was, uh, we, we had started, in the next 10 years, uh, if you're not, uh, you don't have any relevant skill, you not be in the market. You not yeah. be in the market. So how do, do you conform uh, to the current dynamics. Mm -hmm. How can we be able to nurture that particular skill you have and make it something which can stand out, which you can be able to sell with the other person? If it is in the areas of agriculture, how do we nurture, uh, become innovative? What are the mm -hmm. things that we are looking at to ensure that we do what? Uh, mm -hmm. We bring that uh, skill uh, out from you. Okay, yes. interesting, very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, in regards to that, how, peop how can people get you or reorganization if you're okay with sharing your social handles mm. and as you give uh, your parting shot your final word on this to the youth your camera is this one. Oh, okay this one oh yeah. thank you uh now uh the way we had uh, started uh, mm. my name is john Opio. Uh, i'm a computer forensics expert um my twitter handle is john uh, copio uh, you can find me there uh, the facebook account is uh uh, John, John Opio or Senator John because I, I vied uh, for Senator Migori County that is in the last uh, election. Oh, wow. But we postponed the victory till uh, 2027 if God allows. Wow, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> have the positivity in the <laughs> statement. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So the African Union of Youth Assembly is registered in Ghana and in uh, Ethiopia. Uh, the uh, second uh, office and we are looking at how we can be able to open an office in Kenya and again work with the Africa, the Kenyan youths uh, and bring um, more African youths to this particular assembly. It is assembly, you mm. know, like assembly, you go and sit yeah. and everybody will contribute. Yeah. Then at the end of the day, a decision is reached, you know, and you go and implement. Uh -huh. So how can we bring all these people together and I'll be able to invite you uh, to that uh, the assembly uh, so that we can be able to chat our destination. Okay. Uh, destiny, I mean destiny together uh -huh. as uh, young people mm -hmm. because the future belongs to us and it is not the future, it is today. The future is now. Yeah, the future is now. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jidian <laughs> John, you. also you. the president of uh, OYA, which is the African Union of Youth Assembly. He's also a computer forensics expert and we have been been discussing about AI and STEM, the intersection of the two. I hope you've taken something from this particular conversation. Now it's time for a break and then Grasha Mwangi will be coming up next with yet another interesting conversation. Stick with us. The hashtag is Thursday Vibes or in the morning at Y254 channel.